Welcome to part two. With the late arrival to camp last night, most of the crew decided to sleep in this morning. However, a few of us were up and about and eager to get into the water. shallow bit there. How did you not bottom out? <laughs> wow. It was time for the relaxing kayaking to end and for the rope swing to start. up and we're going to get ready to hit the tracks again and uh, we're going to meet a fella this afternoon called Peter and he's going to take us abseiling and rock climbing so that's going to be pretty cool. A um, bit of full driving involved to get there as well so it's just I think it's going to work out perfect hopefully. I'll just quickly share with you oh, so this is my little power box here I think you've seen it in another video I'll just we will see on the screen now, it's just very basic, it's kind of falling apart, but soon I'm going to have a proper power box on the other side with a lot of cool goodies in there. Uh, this here, aside from being a mess of wires, this is my little charge case. A lot of you guys ask me about my camera equipment. This is how I keep everything in here to keep it charged. It looks like a mess, but it works. So I've got the drone charger, the camera charger, the Osmo charger, the camcorder, and yeah, that's pretty much everything in one box. So it's really handy and compact. 
So I thought I'd quickly show you the camp in daylight. Everyone's now packing up. Um, you guys are in the swags. What swags are these? Uh, Burke and Wills. Burke and Wills. All right, we'll run for your camp tonight, eh? Yep. Just remind me about it, eh? Because yep, I no keep worries. forgetting about it. <laughs> cool. There's Torben's, Torben's setup in the day. You can probably see a bit more now. Of his trade that's been chopped. And the tent up there. How do we close it? You ready? Nothing's wired in. Oh, nothing's wired in. You haven't got the clapper wired in. <laughs> no, I haven't got the clapper wired in. I don't need any of you guys clapping in the middle of the night. So you got a Coleman now too? Yep. With a plate? With a solid plate. Have you used it yet? Not yet. Cool. I'm sure we'll Oh, you got to oil that in, yeah. Just got to oil it in. I think it's pretty done. Hmm. All right. Let's go have a look at Wayne. Wayne was camping. Ah, there's your real swag. Kobe swag. Wayne swag. This is a pretty cool spot you got here. Yeah, start packing up too so we can hit the tracks and get out of here because it is already 10.41. Had a bit too much fun on that rope, rope swing down there. So we're at the meeting point and we've just finished cooking lunch and Pete has just arrived so we're just going to meet Pete from uh, Edge Tours. Pete? Yeah, Ronnie, good to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Likewise. Hey. Yeah. Here you so, up for an adventure? Oh, definitely. So rock climbing and abseiling. Yeah, right? that's it. Down at the Willy Abrupt Sea Cliffs. Willy Abrupt Sea Cliffs. Yeah, okay. beautiful spot. There is a lesser known access to the cliffs. So you guys up for a bit of a bit of a tougher route in? Yeah, definitely. Unreal. Well, uh, if you want to come with us, we're going to take a bit of a trip down here. Yep. But we might need to let some air of our tyres first. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, come meet the boys, and yeah, uh, we'll sure. get some air out of the tyres. Hey, mate. Ant, nice to meet you. Pete, good to meet you, Ant. Andrew, Andrew, nice to meet you. good to meet you. Torbs. Hey, Torbs. Uh, Wayne. Good to meet you, Wayne. Yeah, yes, sir. Cool, cool. So yeah, guys, it's a about a five, ten minute trip just down here. A little bit of boggy sand, but some fantastic scenery. So uh, you guys will enjoy that. That's Excellent. Us. Awesome. Cool, cool. Wicked. So we've got a bit of a walk to, eh? Yeah, once we get down closer to the beach, um, then we'll be walking along the Cape to Cape track until we get to the cliffs that we're going to be abseiling rock climbing off. Awesome. Sounds good. Right. Excellent. Let's do it. After a bit of a drive, we reached our point of which we could not drive any further in a vehicle. So we then had to load up all our gear. Pete from Edge Tours was handing out our abseiling gear. And from there, we had to walk about six kilometers on the Cape to Cape track. And this was a pretty cool hike. These loops, yeah, just like that one right there. You just grab that, slip it on. Yeah. I can see why people like to do the Cape to Cape walk.
We're nearly there. How far to go, Pete? I'm now. Which face are we going up? We go off that long side. See, there's a highest point over there. That's the point that we're going to go off. Oh, so that we don't. Yeah, right where that block is, is. Right at the very top. Okay. That's where we're heading to. All right. 40 meters from the top all the way to the bottom. Okay. It's a big drop. Let's not talk about how high it is. <laughs> <laughs> In case you didn't know already, I'm not very good with heights. This big rock right here, um, the tallest one you can see, that's the that's our abseil there, it's 40 metres, it's called Stainless Steel, it's the name of the rock climb. It's got another one to the right of it called Stainless uh, Stillmore Steel, another one across called Heavy Metal. Uh, so we call that Steel Wall. Um, the climb's got names, so we refer to that as Steel Wall. That's where we'll be abseiling today. Uh, and so. One of the rules that we have is that you never get close in two metres to an edge. If you're close in two metres to an edge, you have a bit of a stumble, there's loose rock everywhere. Either you could go over, or worse than you going over, is you could knock a rock off. And we never, ever, ever want that to happen. Because if there's somebody walking along the bottom, a falling rock is fatal. That'll take somebody out, um, permanently depart them from this world. Just about ready to descend, abseil down. I'm going first with Torben. And I'm not really keen on heights, so I haven't thought about it too much yet. So I'm just going to go to the edge and hopefully my fear doesn't overpower me. So I'm just going to try and do it. In fact, I'm going to do it. Now I can't back out of it. I better get over there and get ready. Okay, so this is where I start to get a little bit nervous and anxious. Hardware is good just there. I'm going to just check these harnesses. It's amazing how heavy 40 metres of rope is. It is. Yeah, tell and me about it. You will need to give it a little bit of love. It won't move through anywhere near as easily as it did before. Um, oh, okay. So when you say a bit of love out here. Yeah, you need to give it a little bit of... Yeah, this is tight and yeah, you won't be moving fast at all, yeah? Okay. You're going to relax it. Hey, go on. Standing. All one to seven. Ready. Right. In the now, in the hands there. Right. No one's got you in my hand. What's that? That's the smile, you're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> my balls are so far up in my throat. <laughs> Enjoy. How are you feeling, Ronnie? Fantastic. Fantastic. Now I'm looking down. I'm just trusting everything in his rope.
closer you are together, the better it's going to be. If you're ready, take your top hand off. awesome fun uh, I wasn't even that worried either because I think that that rope I've climbed a, a, a couple of trees before like um, you know the bicentennial tree down yeah, at yeah. Warren yeah that, that there because you're relying on your hands and feet to not fall down well you, you are here too essentially but you kind of got that safety rope and the guy on the bottom so but that was that was awesome but you, you guys have fun eh? yeah yeah good fun yeah you know who your friends are <laughs> <laughs> Well, find out pretty quick. Well, 100% of us made it back, so. Yeah. Good blokes. <laughs> yeah. A big thanks, Pete. You're very, very well, welcome. Thanks that for was awesome. Buddy. Cool. Well done, guys. Good, good fun time. And again, great to see you guys looking after each other. It's clear that you guys have adventures together on, on a fairly regular basis in the four-wheel drives. It transfers here to the cliffs as well. So yeah. well done. Good on you for looking Cheers, after buddy. each other. Thanks again. This was awesome. Cool. You got a nice uh, workplace here too. It's a nice office, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. pretty stunning. I uh, Sometimes I stand here, look out over my view, and I think I'm one of the luckiest guys alive, so it's beautiful. Yeah, living a dream, mate. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you! You! We got a bit of a walk back to the vehicles now. It shouldn't rain. We hope not, anyway. I don't think it will. <laughs> you never know. That's it. Check out that sunset behind her. It's behind beautiful. Uh, camp in the dark? Camp in the dark. Back to the cars. Peter got a bit of a fright, didn't know what type of snake it was. That's a python. But of course, if you don't know what it is, you shouldn't go near it. This is a southern carpet python, commonly found in Western Australia, in the southwest at least, anyway. I usually find them on the coastline more than in the bush, perhaps because it's easier to see. These are harmless to humans, but they can still bite you and perhaps infect your wounds. But apart from that, they're quite harmless and they can get up to nearly two and a half meters long. And if they're females, they can get even longer than that. So we're talking seven and a half feet plus. So this one here is obviously a juvenile. Anyway, we let him get on his way after we had a bit of a look and we headed towards camp. We're at camp now. We got here at what, what time did we get here? About nine. About nine. Nine, was it nine? No, actually, we've been close to 9.30. Ooh, okay. And Wayne's cooking at the moment, but we're just out possum spotting at the moment. Oh, there we go. Hey. 
Well, we had a big day, full driving, abseiling, kayaking, so we chowed down our food pretty hard and had a few cold ones.